Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton, and I just finished watching Nomadland, which was directed by Chloe Zhao and stars Frances McDormand, who also produced the film. This is a film based on a book of the same name that is about the nomads that went out around the American West after the economic recession of the 2000s. And let me just tell you, it's definitely a very atmospheric and very and very a and very atmosphere driven film. While there are characters to meet and while there are certain events that happen that resemble a story, it's mostly a character study and definitely a piece that's not meant for those who are craving, you know, extreme drama or extreme action. But what you will find is an absolutely fascinating film that actually does make me see why McDormand would want to choose it. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story is about Fern, a woman played by Frances McDormand, who decides after losing practically everything during the economic recession that she's going to live as a nomad or out throughout the American West as she runs into a bunch of other people who have also lost almost everything they have. And the majority of the film is just her meeting friends, going to different areas throughout the world, m mentally healing after everything she's gone through, and finding a means to life throughout this, after not only losing her husband, but also losing seemingly everything that she had held dear. And that's really the fascinating thing about this film. The fact that you don't need any last second villains, you don't need you know, plot twists that don't ma that don't matter in the end. You can just show a life, and that's enough for this film. There are several scenes where there aren't even any bits of dialogue at all, and where the visuals and the music basically sell the entire scene. And Frances McDormand's acting is astounding in this, and she makes those scenes work purely through her facial expressions and purely through her physical acting, which are which really do capture her character and really do feel perfect for the role. On top of that, even though the film is a little around one hour and 47 minutes long, none of it feels, none of it feels too long. Even though there are several scenes that are just looking at the scenery or just taking in the environment of the nomads, none of it feels like it's wasted considering the atmospheric moments in this, in the, in this movie are just so powerful that I can't imagine leaving a single scene out. It's all just interesting to witness. It also helps that with, with the few characters that are in, in the film, they do manage to enliven proceedings and they do manage to allow Fern to work off the other nomads, especially one character named Swanky, who she shares a few... She shares a few you know, conversations with that are not only emotionally impactful, but I actually really felt for Swanky and her story, even though it's only lasts for a small portion of the film. There are several characters who are like that, some of which who are apparently actual nomads that play fictionalized versions of themselves. And hey, playing yourself can actually be really effective, and it really is here. As for Chloe Zhao's direction, I can see through this that she's very good at emotionally impactful scenes and more atmospheric shots. And considering that she's set to be the director of Marvel's Eternals, I can definitely see that she probably won't be forced into the Marvel mainframe when it comes to the style of directing. It'll probably be a very different kind of film if they're gonna keep on allowing Chloe Zhao to do what she does, because this is a absolutely brilliantly shot and brilliantly paced film, even with what little story there is. So Nomadland is definitely a really good pickup for Hulu. It's really a film that could be effective now, even if, even if it's taking place several years after said reception happened. And I think it's one of the best performances I've seen Miss Mac McDormand in. That's why I'm going to give Nomadland a perfect 10 out of 10. See you next time.